Governor Tom Wolf hopes Pennsylvania will join the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, or REGI, in an effort to reduce climate change. But according to Steve Malloy, the founder of JunkScience.com, that would usher in electricity rationing and hardships for Pennsylvania. Joining us now to explain why he thinks this is such a bad idea is Steve Malloy, founder of JunkScience.com. Uh, Steve, thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate your time on this one. Uh, before we get started, can you explain for the viewers what your background is so that, you know, we have a sense of, uh, of where you're coming from and, and uh, you know, why you're qualified to, uh, to speak on this? Sure. Um, I'm a biostatistician and a lawyer by training. I've worked on environmental issues for 30 years. I was a member of the uh, Trump EPA transition uh, climate for years, uh, issues such as Reggie for you know, more than a decade. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I want to be clear that you, you approach this topic as someone who does not believe in global warming, it, it, warming at least not catastrophic global right. warming, right? Right, right. I don't believe in catastrophic warming. Of course, you know, we've been warming since 1650 and um, you know, carbon dioxide does warm the atmosphere a bit, but we've had lots of other changes that have you know, caused uh, a little bit of warming. So I don't think any of it's going to be catastrophic, though. Okay, so now that we know where you're coming from, why are you opposed to Pennsylvania joining Reggie, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative? Well, it's just an all-pay, no-gain deal for Pennsylvanians. You're going to be paying more money for electricity. Uh, there might be energy rationing in your future. You're going to pay more money for gasoline. Many Pennsylvanians in the coal and natural gas industries will lose their job. And nothing is going to change in the, for the climate or the weather or the environment. It's all going to be the same. So, you know, what, what's the point? Uh, China is burning coal like there's no tomorrow. Pennsylvania not burning coal is not going to make a difference. Pennsylvania not burning, not, not burning or producing natural gas is just going to be devastating for the economy. Um, for people on fixed incomes, it's just going to be a disaster. Well, now, you know, you say, use the word rationing, and that sounds scary, but, you know, um, why... Why do you think there would be rationing? Well, because the uh, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf said there would be. In his plan, uh, Pennsylvania is going to produce less electricity. And there's not going to be less people. There's just going to be less electricity. It's going to be more expensive. And it's a de facto way of rationing electricity. Okay. Now, explain why a, a wind and, and solar mandate doesn't make economic sense in your estimation. I mean, the, the incoming administration, the president-elect has said, you know, hey, the jobs, basically, mm -hmm. they've said the jobs they lose in the fossil fuel industry, they're going to gain in the, in the uh, things like wind and solar. Yeah, look, so the jobs you're going to lose in the fossil fuel industry, these are jobs, uh, the average salary in the oil industry is about $80,000. The average job in the wind solar is about 40,000. Um, you're trading high paying jobs for low paying jobs. It really makes no sense. Wind and solar doesn't make us more productive. We want to have low energy so that we can have an industrial base. More people can have high paying jobs. Uh, wind and solar don't do that. When, you know, we hear all sorts of myths that wind and solar, oh, they're cheaper than coal and natural gas. None of that is true. If, if it was, we wouldn't need to subsidize them. You wouldn't need a program like REGI. Um, the rest of the world would be, you know, jumping for wind and solar, but they're not. They're still using coal and natural gas. All right, Steve, since a number of northeastern states have already, you know, jumped in and joined Reggie, um, what do we know about their electric rates since? Is it, is it bearing out what you're saying? Yeah, so the Commonwealth Institute has looked at this, and they've concluded that Reggie state, in Reggie states, the electricity prices are rising 68% faster than in states that don't have such, you know, oppressive regimes against electricity or coal and natural gas. Um, you know, in places like Germany, where they have Reggie-like systems, uh, for people on fixed incomes, electricity is considered a luxury item. I don't think Pennsylvanians want that. All right. Um, you mentioned that you were part of the EPA transition team uh, for the Trump administration. If the president-elect Joe Biden were to ask for your input, what would you recommend for the country's general direction regarding energy here? I think I know, but go ahead and tell us. <laughs> so Joe Biden wants to spend trillions and trillions of dollars on the climate. He wants to spend so much money that they want to take it off budget. You know, this country has serious problems. We have serious infrastructure problems. If the government is going to spend our hard-earned tax money 
on things, it should spend them on things that really are going to help us, like infrastructure. We have many other social problems that are COVID, for example, and we're going to waste money on uh, the climate, what the weather is going to be like in the year 2100. It's insane. All right. So the deadline for public comment on Reggie is is Thursday. Where can people go if they want to learn more for themselves and, and you know, make up their own mind about this one if they haven't already done so? So I've got information on junkscience.com. Uh, people can also follow me on Twitter at Junk Science. Uh, the Pennsylvania government has a, a you know, great site on this. So, um, you know, try those resources. All right. Steve Malloy, founder of JunkScience.com. We appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Stay with us. Jet 24 Action News continues.